What's up guys? Welcome back sa ating channel. I am your math teacher, Sir Gaor. And so yun na nga, natapos na tayo doon sa mga special product lessons. So doon naman tayo ngayon sa kabaligtaran nila, which is factoring. Okay, so here are some factoring lessons or factoring topics na discuss natin. So we have factoring the greatest common monomial factor or pwede na lang natin i-acronym as GCMF. Factoring difference of two squares or DTS. Factoring by grouping. Factoring sum or difference of two cubes or SDTC. Factoring perfect square trinomials or PST. Factoring quadratic trinomials or QT. And factoring general quadratic trinomials or GQT. So para sa mga hindi pa natin subscribers, uh, subscribe na po. And don't forget to like the video kung sa tingin yung natuto naman kayo. And hit the notification bell. Siguro yung tip na mabibigay ko sa inyo with regards to this factoring, um, uh, una, syempre dapat kabisado nyo yung special products. So pangalawa, dapat familiar kayo sa characteristics ng bawat isa dyan. So pag diniscuss yan, bibigay sa inyo yung characteristics. So isang tingin nyo lang sana, alam nyo na na, ah, ito gagamitin dyan, DTS, a ah, general quadratic trinomial yan. Kasi bibigay naman sa inyo yung characteristics niyan. Ah, kasi sa isa, sometimes sa isang question, pwedeng hindi lang isang factoring ang mangyayari. Pwedeng dalawang klase ng factoring. Tapos palagi hinihingi na factor completely. Okay? So, yeah, kailangan alam niyo yung karakteristik ng bawat isa dyan. So, for our drill for today, we are asked to identify the GCF of each set of numbers. So, this is again for one minute. Okay? So, I hope ready na yung mga materials. Good luck! A few moments later. Time's up na po. Here are our correct answers. Okay, baka nalito kayo sa number 5. Meron kayang sumagot ng 0 sa number 5. So, hindi po 0 ang sagot sa number 5. 1. Okay? Aside from 5 times 5, pwede naman kasi tong 1 times 25. Ito, pwede rin siya as 1 times 36. Yan na lang ang kanilang greatest. Yung 1. So, 1 is the GCF. Okay? Okay, so the first factoring technique that we are going to discuss is this factoring the greatest common monomial factor or GCMF. Okay, so uh, in my own opinion, okay, this is the first factoring technique to consider because some factoring techniques will appear after factoring by GCMF. Okay, so pag merong pinapafactor sa inyo, Oh, so ang unang-una nyo munang isipin, pwede ba dyan ang GCMF? Yun muna ang unang-unang iisipin. Kasi pagkatapos mag-factor daw ng GCMF, tsaka palang lalabas yung iba pang klase ng factoring. Okay? So huwag kakalimutan, uunahing isipin kung applicable ba si GCMF o hindi. Okay, kailan ba magiging applicable si GCMF? Applicable if all the terms in an expression has a common factor. So kailangan lahat ng terms ay may common factor. Okay, tignan natin itong dalawang examples muna natin. Kung applicable ba sa kanila si GCMF. Here we have 3xy, tapos negative 6xz, tapos 10yz. Tignan natin, eto may 3, may 6, kaso 10 to. So, divisible by 3 itong dalawa, pero hindi naman ito. So, wala. Wala sa numerical coefficient. Eto divisible by 2, pero hindi naman ito. So, dapat daw, all, dapat lahat sila. Okay, tingnan natin. Best inspect natin to. X may X. Ito, wala naman. Y, ito, merong Y siya. Wala rin Y. Yung Z, may Z, may Z, pero ito, wala. Sabi daw, all, dapat lahat sila meron. So, wala sila kahit isang common factor. So, therefore, GCMF is not applicable in this example. Okay, on this next one, 4A plus 6B minus 12C. A, B, C, yung ating, numeric, yung ating literal coefficients. Pero yung, yung, literal, yung numerical coefficients naman natin, 4, 6, and 12. So parang lahat sila divisible by 2, di ba? Divisible by 2, divisible by 2, divisible by 2. Kahit na A, B, C pa yan, iba't iba, pero meron pa rin naman tayong, meron pa rin naman tayong common factor nila, which is 2. So applicable dito ang ating GCMF. So ganun malalaman kung kailan applicable o hindi 
ang GCMF. So here are the steps in factoring the GCMF. Okay, the first one is to find the GCMF of the given expression. So kailangan marunong muna tayo mag-identify ng GCMF. Paano ba natin malalaman yung GCMF ng expression? Okay? Sa so, isahin natin. So dalawa lang naman sila eh. Ang numerical coefficient at literal coefficient eh. Yung GCF ng numerical coefficient marunong na kayo noon kasi pinag-aralan niyo nung elementary. No, yung pagkuha ng GCF kagaya rin do sa drill kanina. Okay, pero yung sa variable naman, sabi rito, note, the GCF of the variable is the variable with the lowest exponent. Yung may pinakamababang exponent daw ng same variable, yun daw ang kanyang GCF. Okay? And then number two, divide each term by the GCMF to get the other factor. Okay po? Meron po tayong dalawang skills na kailangang matutunan ngayon. So yung una, yung pagkuha ng GCMF. So, dapat marunong tayong kumuha ng GCMF. Pangalawa, yung factoring na by or factoring the GCMF na. Okay? So, hindi tayo makakapag-factor ng GCMF kung hindi tayo marunong kumuha ng GCMF. So, for our examples, find the GCMF of the following. Okay, so investigate natin or inspect natin 10, 15, and 20. Ang GCF yata ng 10, 15, and 20 ay 5. Tapos, sabi natin, doon sa, sa literal coefficient, m squared m, m cube, yung meron daw lowest exponent. At ang lowest exponent natin ay m kasi ito ay m to the first. So, 5m is our GCMF. Ganun po yung pagkuha ng GCMF. Okay, so baka nagtataka kayo, dito may positive tapos negative naman dito. So, anong ipafactor natin dyan? Ito lang suggestion ko kapag magpa-factoring. Kapag yung nasa harap ay positive, huwag mo nang ilabas yung negative sign. No? Kapag kapag negative to, doon ka lang mag-factor out ng negative sign. Since positive to, hindi na natin kailangang i-factor out yung negative sign. Okay? So bali tatlo ko consider natin, yung sign, yung numerical coefficient, tapos yung exponent ng variables. Okay? So 12, 8, tsaka 4. So ang GCF niyan ay 4. Let's go to the variables. Lahat pa sila may x. So may x to, may x din to, may x din to. Pinakamababa yung x to the first or x. So 4x. And then so y naman. y squared, y cube, y squared. Ang pinakamababa pareha sila y squared. So therefore, y squared ang ating exponent or y squared tayo sa y. Sa z, z to the fourth, z squared Walang z. So, hindi natin isasama yung z kasi wala itong z. Kailangan lahat sila meron. Ibig sabihin, eto na po yung ating GCMF. Okay, for the third one, negative o negative yung nauna natin. So, sabi ko nga sa inyo kanina, kapag negative yung nasa harapan, doon lang tayo mag-factor out ng negative sign. So, dahil negative to, negative ang ilalagay kong factor dito. So, negative, numerical coefficient, 6. 15, oh, tapos 18. So, pare-parehas naman sila halos. No? A, A minus B, may A minus B silang lahat. So, 6, 15, and then 18. So, ang common factor nila ay, ang greatest common factor nila ay 3. Okay, then we have, all of them have A minus B. A minus B. So, piliin na lang natin. Ito cube, ito to the first, ito to the second. So, to the first tayo, kaya ito na pala ang sagot natin. Okay pa? Since dalawa yung skills na kailangan matutunan natin ngayon, so magkakaroon tayo ng quick check. So, dapat kasi marunong muna tayong mag-identify ng GCMF bago tayo makapag-factor ng GCMF. Okay? So, pakisagutan muna at mamaya check na natin. Good luck! Okay, so here are our correct answers for our quick check. So, dapat kasi marunong muna tayo kumuha ng GCMF. Um, kasi pag mali yung GCMF natin, magiging mali na rin yung factoring natin. I hope you got a score of 5. Kung hindi man, paki-counter check po muna yung inyong answers. Now, go to the examples on how to factor the GCMF. So, dalawa yung um, steps na binigay ko kanina. So, yung una, identify the GCMF which is marunong na dapat tayo ngayon. Tapos pangalawa, divide each term by the GCMF. So kung naalala nyo yung nandun sa kaninang uh, steps na binigay ko. 
Okay. For number one, so inspect natin, is GCMF applicable to this one? 10, tapos 15. So, meron namang common. So, ibig sabihin, um, pwede tayong mag-factoring by GCMF. 10 and 15, both divisible by 5. So, 5 ang gagamitin natin. Ang GCF nila ay 5. And then, A, walang A. So, ibig sabihin, ang ating GCMF na ay 5. So, maglalagay na tayo dito ng open parenthesis. Ayan. Then, afterwards, since meron na tayong GCMF, di-divide na natin yung bawat term by the GCMF. So, 10A divided by 5. So, 10 divided by 5 is 2. Tapos, ilalagay na lang natin yung A. Okay? And then, 15 divided by 5 is 3. Or positive 3. So, 2A plus 3. Etong napaka-vital dito sa pag pagkatapos mo mag-factor. Para makasigurado ka na tama yung sagot mo, counter-check mo agad by distribution. Yung i-distribute mo agad to, so dapat ito ang lalabas. 5 times 2A is 10A. So, ito yun. 5 times 3 is 15. So, ito yun. So, ibig sabihin, tama yung ating factors. Okay? Number 2. Negative yung nasa harapan. So, dapat negative ang ilabas natin. Okay. And then, um, we have 7 tapos 28. So, 7 ito. So, 7 tayo rito. Both of them are, the, the GCF of 7 and 28 is 7. And then, x squared tapos x. So, mas mababa yung x. Kaya, ang GCMF natin ay negative 7x. Open parenthesis na kasi meron na tayo. Ito yung GCMF na kinukuha natin kanina. So, yan yun. Okay. Negative 7x squared divided by negative 7x. That is positive x. So, paano na kuha yung positive x? Isaysay natin. Negative divided by negative is positive. 7 divided by 7 is 1. 1x to eh, no? Yung exponent ng variables, minus lang natin. x squared minus, or so 2 minus 1 is 1. So, kaya siya naging x na lang. 28 divided by negative, or 28 divided by negative 7 is negative 4. Negative 4. x to the first, x to the first, so parehas, 1 minus 1 is 0, so wala na tayong variable dun. So, ibig sabihin, eto na yung ating factors. Quick check. Negative 7x times x, we have negative 7x squared. So, ito yun. 28x, oh, sorry, negative 7x times negative 4, so negative times negative is positive, 7 times 4 is 28, and then x, so positive 28x, which is this one. Okay? Next, number 3. GCMF muna. 18, 12, tsaka 6. So, positive naman yung nasa harapan natin. So, wala tayong ilalabas na negative sign. So, ang, ang GCF ng numerical coefficient ay 6. A to the fourth, A squared, A. So, ang pinakamababa ay yung A. Tapos, B cubed, B squared, B. So, ang pinakamababa ay B. So, therefore, this is our GCMF. So, pwede na tayo mag-open parenthesis. Okay. So, dito na tayo. 18 divided by 6 is 3. A to the 4th. So, 4 minus 1 para do sa exponents ni A. 4 minus 1 is 3. Kaya, ito ay A cube. 3 minus 1 is 2. Kaya, ito ay B squared. Minus 12 divided by 2. Uh, 12 divided by 6 is 2. Squared. So, 2 minus 1 is 1. Kaya, ito ay A na lang. And then, 2 minus 1 is also 1. So, kaya, ito ay B na lang. And then, last one. Negative 6. A ba? 6 divided by 6 is 1. So, parehas na parehas ito. Oh. Negative 6 AB. Tapos, ito positive 6 AB. So, ang lalagay na lang natin dito ay minus 1. So, bakit nagkaganon yon? 6 divided by 6 is 1, A divided by A is 1, B divided by B is 1. So, therefore, minus 1 na lang tayo rito. Okay? Parehas na parehas kasi sila. Okay? Next, number 4. GCMF muna, 45, 75, 30. I think that is 15. Lowest exponent ni x, x to the first, or x. Lowest exponent ni y, y squared. 
That's the GCMF. And then, oh, by the way, hindi na natin to na-check. So, pwede na ng counter-check later on. And then, so we have fifth, oh, 45 divided by 15 is 3. 3 minus 1 is 2. So, this is x squared. 2 minus 2 is 0. So, wala na. Plus, 75 divided by 15 is 5. 3 minus 1 is 2. So, x squared na to. 3 minus 2 is 1. So, y na lang to. For the last term. So, minus. 30 divided by 15 is 2. 1 minus 1 is 0. So, wala nang x. 4 minus 2 is 2. So, mali magiging y squared. So, ganun po yun ha. Hindi na natin to distribute para hindi na tayo tumagal. Okay, last one, number 5. So, pansinin natin. So, meron pa rin silang GCMF. So, 20 tsaka 15, I think that is 5. Tapos, para dito naman, sa ating other factor na x, uh, z plus 3, z plus 3 squared, mas mababa yung z plus 3 to the first. So, ito bali ay z plus 3. Yan. Ito yung ating GCMF. So, anong matitira? So, ang matitira dyan ay, so, para dito, ang matitira, 20 divided by 5 is 4. Z, uh, z plus 3, tapos z plus 3, bali 1, minus 1, so, wala na tong z plus 3. Okay? Minus 15 divided by 5 is 3. Squared to, tapos yung GCMF natin ay to the first lang, so, may matitira pang isa. So, bali ito ay magiging z plus 3 to the first. So, i-upgrade na lang natin yung ating grouping symbol. So, dapat ito ay bracket na. Okay po. Let's have a word problem example. The area of rectangular lot is 15x squared minus 35x square meters. Find the possible expressions for its dimensions. Okay, so paano ba nga ulit ang area ng rectangle? So, area of a rectangle... Area of a rectangle is equal to length multiplied by the width. Ito bali yung dimensions. So, ang binigay yung area. Ito, may area na tayo. So, kailangan lang, syempre, ang gagawin natin, para malaman natin yung dimensions, no? Expression naman yung tinatanong, may factor lang natin to. Pag na-factor na natin to, yun na yung kanyang uh, dimensions. Yun na yung length and width. Okay. So, we have the area is equal to so, which is also equal to 15x squared minus 35x. Later na lang yung ating label. Okay, so, both of them, oh, GCMF muna tayo. Both of them are divisible by 5, so 5 to. So, variables x squared x, so ito ay x. So, yan na ang ating GCMF. So, 15 divided by 5 is 3. 2 minus 1 is 1, kaya ito ay x. 35 or minus to. So, negative divided by positive is still negative. So, ang, ang technique lang naman kapag negative sign, no, kapag negative sign, magpapalit ito. No? Since positive yung nandito natin, kukopihin lang natin lahat na magiging signs natin. So, 35 divided by 5 is 7. X to the first, no, 1 minus 1 is 0. So, bali mawawala na ng X. So, therefore, well, we can say that the dimensions, the dimensions, are 5x meters and 3x minus 7 meters. So that is our answer. Let's now go to the last part of our discussion, which is the try this part. Okay, so we are asked to factor each expression. So most likely, ang gagamitin dyan ay GCMF. Okay, pakitry po and good luck! A few moments later. Here are our correct answers for the try this. So, I hope you got a score of 5. Pero kung hindi po, pakiaral na lang kung papaano ko ba nakuha yung correct answer or counter check nyo yung inyong mga ginawa. And I hope to see you again in our next video. What's up guys?